All right, right now we're talking with Peter from iSimulate. Uh, this is a really interesting product. Can you tell us a little bit about what we're seeing here? Absolutely. What we've done here is we've taken two iPads. Uh, we've made one a multi-parameter monitor and the other one a control system. So what we can essentially do is without the cost and expense of monitors and mannequins, we can do simulated patients, live patient simulators, or add it to a low fidelity mannequin and increase your fidelity. Right. I see what you're saying. A low fidelity mannequin could then uh, you know, be utilized in such a way that we could have these uh, high fidelity presentations with just the simple uh, additional cost of two iPads and then the iSimulate system. Do, do you sell this, the hardware with the software or is it just the software that's sold for the hardware? Mainly uh, we've gone just for the, the software because most people can pick up an iPad anyway. However, for some of our people it's too difficult to buy iPads and we've gone and configured them and made it happen. So tell me a little bit about this control unit here. Um, uh, if, if we can uh, turn that a little bit towards the camera and explain what, what it is that we're seeing here. So what we're seeing here is uh, we've got a four ECGs. Each one can be individually adapted to give you a flow. And that runs in a scenario. And as you, the student does the certain things, you can tick it. You can also change it on the fly. So at the moment, we're sitting here in an atrial tachycardia at 145. But very quickly, we can increase it and we'll get the result on the monitor. So you get that instantaneous feedback. You can also uh, set it up into three modes. So that's, you can see there that we're running all the parameters, including a non-invasive blood pressure. And you can see the difference down the bottom between the one that hasn't been retaken plus the other one. But if we wanted to, we could turn it into an AED for very basic training, or we could take a defibrillator so they could shock, they could pace, or they could sync cardiovert. And each one of these parameters can be changed, taken off the screen, so it can be mapped to their monitor. It sounds like this might actually be uh, also very good for a standardized patient encounters or live patients that we're using in, in maybe fidelity simulations of uh, um, mass casualties or those types of things and be able to create uh, um, simulated responses as opposed to having the actual um, beats per minute and those types of things available. So is this product uh, has been around uh, how long on the market now? This is brand new. Yeah, so it's, it's going to due for release in about two weeks. So this is uh, to launch it internationally here. Uh, and the beauty about it is the system's only $2,000 a year. So the cost of doing your simulation is going to drop dramatically. It doesn't replace simulation centers. It's meant for very portable, quick, uh, but very accurate simulation. Very good. And so where can folks learn more about iSimulate? So if they go to isimulate.com.au, we're an Australian company, uh, and from there they'll, we'll be able to give them all the information they need. Well, thank you so much, Peter. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much.